joined us in the studio. Uh, Jim, you knew Gordon, and of course you know Gordon's family too. Yes, uh, Paul, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Charlie. Um, uh, I received a, a, a family statement just a, a short time ago. As you'll probably recall, Paul, I worked for many years at, at, at Sky uh, alongside uh, Gordon's daughter, Hayley, mm. Hayley McQueen. And Hayley has been in touch with me uh, this lunchtime. It, this is hugely sad news. Um, I can say the family tell us this lunchtime, it is with the heaviest of hearts that we announce the passing of our beloved husband, father and grandfather, we hope that as well as creating many great football memories for the club and his country, he'll be remembered for the love, laughter and bravery that characterise his career and his family life, not least during his recent battles with ill health. Our house was always a constant buzz of friends, family and football and this constant support sustained him as he fought bravely against the cruel impact of dementia. The disease may have taken him too soon, and while we struggle to comprehend life without him, we celebrate a man who lived life to the full, the ultimate entertainer, the life and soul of every occasion, the heart and soul of every dressing room, the most fun dad, husband, papa we could ever have wished for. The family would like to express our huge thanks to the wonderful staff at Heriot Hospice Home Care for their outstanding care the utterly incredible Marie Curie team who were there with us all until the end and head for change for emotional support and respite care. Finally, to our wonderful friends and family who are a constant source of support, we send our utmost love and gratitude. You will remain in our hearts always. Yvonne, Haley, Anna, Eddie, Rudy, Etta and Isla. That, Paul, is a, a, a short statement from uh, Gordon's uh, close family. Wow. Yeah. I, I was fortunate enough to do some You're on Sky Sports shows with Gordon. I did sort of two or three during the time I was there. Yeah. And I, you, you never quite know. You meet people in football. You never quite know what they're going to be like. But I, I just said to you off air, the, the kind of phrase gentle giant came to mind. He was quite a quietly spoken guy. He was, he was a funny guy. But, yes. it, you know, he, he wasn't at all brash as a character, I found. He, I found him great to work with. He was just a lovely man. He was, he was exactly that. He was all of those things, Paul. He, he, he was a six-foot-three lovable giant. Um, he was a wonderful footballer as well, mm -hmm. Charlie. I mean, um, he, he came through. He's born, born in Kilburnie, I think, in Ayrshire. He went to St Mirren as a youngster, then went south to Leeds United uh, and played with such greats as, as Bremner yeah. and uh, Norman Hunter. Because he took over from Big Jack, didn't he? He took, yes. Yeah, he, he, he took, he he took to over that. from Big Jack. Uh, there were a bunch of Scots here, Eddie Gray, Frankie, Frankie Gray, uh, Peter Lorimer, mm. and uh, Gordon fitted in there brilliantly, then got his, his move, of course, and a massive move. It was then, I think, uh, it was something like half a million pounds to Manchester United, and he was a huge favourite with Manchester United. Manchester United say this lunchtime, uh, Paul, Manchester United deeply saddened to announce that our former defender Gordon McQueen has passed away. He was a huge fan's favourite during his time with the club between 1978 and 1985 and has died at the age of 70 after being diagnosed with uh, dementia. Flags are flying at half mast at Old Trafford as a mark of respect to Gordon and in tribute to, to his service on and off the field. And and of course, Paul, he, he, he was a giant in terms of uh, playing for Scotland as mm, well. Mm. You'll remember that huge leap for that headed goal. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, against uh, England, who had a great team at that time, mm. of course. And he was a massive favourite with the Tartan army. I remember, Paul, in my time, I worked at Scottish TV before I went to Sky. I was at Sky for about 23 years. And at Scottish TV, we, we were invited, Charlie, to play in a golf tournament amongst other television companies yeah. and Gordon McQueen was in our team only goes to Le Touquet in northern France which is a desperately difficult golf course and only goes there and wins the thing <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> immense yeah. and would drive it out of sight yeah. he was a fabulous golfer 
fabulous golfer. I remember it was a shotgun start, and he and I to start at the tenth about six ten a.m. Mm. And uh, of course, we'd been up all night. <laughs> and uh, then those were the days that I would enjoy a drink of with course. Gordon. Uh, and of course Gordon could take it I couldn't I was staggering all over the place and Gordon McQueen went out and played the most phenomenal golf and uh, was loved by the other three fellows who he met on the tee yeah. they'd never met before and they enjoyed Gordon's company which was the most special of companies Yeah, they had yeah. a heart of gold he would do anything for you and was wonderful wonderful and as, and as what Haley's, comes through in that statement is a real family man uh, just surrounded by love and surrounded himself by love and, and gave love, you know, yes. to his family and friends. You know, that's what comes through in that statement. Very much so. And, and I send my love and my condolences to the McQueen family this lunchtime and to you, Yvonne, Gordon's wife, who I, I, I knew for many years, and uh, to you, Haley, and to you, Anna and Eddie. Uh, Eddie will be listening this lunchtime as well, yeah. I'm quite sure. Gordon McQueen, who's, who has passed at the age of 70. Thank you, Jim. Thank Thanks, you, Jim. Thank you for uh, rejoining us. We appreciate that. Yeah, very sad news about uh, Gould McQueen, a fantastic plan. I'm sure the tributes will continue yeah. through, uh, throughout the day.